Why getting married could be good for your finances 1. A joint account could simplify your life Making the decision to open a joint checking or investment account can be a wise move. And the reason is, joint accounts allow each partner to have equal access to the money, making it easier to coordinate bill payments and other costs. If both of you can back joint expenses easily, you have a greater likelihood of having open communication about your finances, which is important for a successful partnership. Moreover, joint accounts allow the surviving partner to have easy access to the funds in the case where one of you passes away. 2. Combined incomes may lead to a better mortgage rate Being married won't automatically make you qualified for a much better mortgage. Each spouse's incomes, credit scores, and debts have to be taken into consideration, and you can always do the math using a simple mortgage calculator. Being married gives you more flexibility, and that's what you're going for when trying to get a decent mortgage rate and or trying to apply for a larger loan. But not all the time. If one of you has poor credit scores, it's not advised to apply jointly. But if you do choose to apply, lenders will generally consider the lowest middle FICO credit scores for you and your partner. If you still decide to go for the joint mortgage though, lenders will consider both your incomes. And two incomes are bound to be higher than one and the larger income will also qualify you for a larger loan with even better repayment terms than you could get if you applied on your own. 3. Joint solid cards can help both spouses accumulate credit That's even more good news. If one spouse has better credit than the other, the good credit spending habits will help boost the ratings of the other partner. Your joint debts and accounts are reflected in your credit history once you get married. Both of your spending habits may improve as you talk more about money combined expenses, and develop a new financial lifestyle. And if you decide to open a joint credit card, the partner with the lower score will experience a rise in their credit. It's beneficial to have an open and honest conversation if you choose to take this route. You have to answer questions like what limits do you want to set about borrowing and spending money? Who will be responsible for making monthly payments on time? Another option would be to make your partner an authorized user. If you're already getting great rewards on an individual card instead of applying for a new card altogether. 4. Health insurance is easier and cheaper to maintain In the two months following your marriage, you have the option of adding your spouse to your health insurance plan. This is a no-brainer on most cases, especially when one partner has great coverage through an employer while the other doesn't. Generally, insurers charge less for a single policy covering two individuals than they do for separate policies. If both of you have insurance before marriage, it might be a good idea to compare plans and apply for a better deal together. You'll also get much better rates in long-term care insurance as a married couple. It's a wise plan for this kind of coverage. It's wise to plan for this kind of coverage before you need it. 5. You get to share social security benefits. A majority of married couples can either claim their own social security benefits or spousal benefits worth up to 50% of their partner's allotment when the time comes. Either way, their spouses receive the same amount, and the benefits keep coming even after retirement or in the event of disability or death. One partner reaps the benefits of the other if they earn more or pays more into Social Security already, even if they've never paid into Social Security themselves. 6. Retirement Options Improve Married couples are permitted to share retirement income specifically by being able to inherit one another's retirement plan accounts and in building retirement accounts with personal individual retirement accounts IRAs, which increases retirement plan assets. This move can add years to the timetable of paying either no taxes at all or deferred taxes on retirement income and does away with the amount of money a married couple pays in retirement access taxes when they begin taking money from that account in retirement. Even if only one spouse is earning an income, the other partner can open up and make contributions to his spousal IRA. This plan, however, isn't applicable to single, non-working individuals. 7. Auto Insurance Premiums The cost of your car insurance premium is influenced by many factors. Interestingly, your relationship status is one of them. Whether you're purchasing a policy or have hopes for a lower rate on an existing policy, take a look at what deals are available for married couples first because research shows that married couples get better auto insurance rates. It turns out that married couples pay approximately 11% less on their auto insurance premiums than unmarried couples. Studies suggest that married couples encounter fewer accidents, 
It's also possible that premiums are lower, due to a multi-car discount. Surprisingly, people also report an increase in their car insurance premiums after changing their status back to single, following a divorce. 8. You save a lot on taxes The tax benefits of marriage tend to help out both spouses, especially if one earns more than the other. The partner earning less can be a tax shelter, keeping the pair in a lower tax bracket and saving both spouses money when the time to pay taxes comes. Couples filing jointly will generally be in a lower tax bracket than single filers, even when only one partner is earning income. The IRS lets couples take a standard deduction that's twice as high as the single filer deduction as a bonus. Spouses can leave any sum of money to their spouses in their estate plan, as stated in the current law. The surviving spouse is exempt from having to pay an estate tax. When it comes to gifting tax, unmarried individuals have to file returns if they give anyone including their significant other more than $15,000 in a single year. However, married couples who are both U.S. citizens are exempt from this rule, meaning spouses can gift one another boundless amounts of money each year. Although this might only seem advantageous for people living the rich and famous lifestyles, it can be a helpful estate planning tool. 9. Free Child Care Married couples who decide to become parents are required to make up their mind about child care. It's not cheap, by the way. The average cost of child care in the U.S. is $1,230 per child every month, according to the American Progress. If you have many kids together, this can total up really fast, consuming a full-time salary. Couples have the option to either continue being a two-income household and pay someone else to take care of the children, or decide to have one partner stay at home and raise the kids. By having one stay-at-home partner, you save thousands of dollars every year. Unmarried couples could still come up with a similar system, but it becomes much easier once you both commit to build your financial future together. 10. Potential to get a raise Long ago, people used to find a career and stick with it until they were finally ready to retire. But in the world we're currently living in, there isn't as much job security, and millennials have little loyalty when it comes to sticking with a job. A lot of employers are never certain that their young single employees are going to hop from job to job or not. However, if you're married, all of a sudden it becomes a lot more serious. You'll probably want to maintain your job because you need that stability in your life to support your new family. Some bosses are known to give you a raise once you get hitched, if they believe you'll remain with the company. Or a boss may suggest bringing you on for a higher paying position. 11. Veteran and Military Benefits If someone is currently serving in the military or is a veteran, they get certain perks that aren't available to civilians. This includes veteran discounts at many major retailers, as well as the ability to use coupons long after they expire. Being a vet means you're now eligible to apply for a low-interest VA loan from the U.S. government. After tying the knot, the spouse of the veteran gets to enjoy the same perks and privileges. Such couples can also save a great deal on their down payment or potentially get a mortgage without a down payment at all. 12. Alimony and Child Support Whether married or not, biological fathers are required to pay child support and women don't receive alimony unless they've been legally married and divorced. Of course, no one wishes divorce on someone else, but in the case that it does happen, this is financially beneficial to the partner who's getting the alimony. In most cases, the spouse receiving the alimony is the wife, but there are a few exceptions when husbands have received alimony from their wives. It all depends on which spouse makes the most money at the time of the divorce. But if both spouses signed a prenup, this would be arranged ahead of time if both partners want a clean break where neither party pays alimony to the other. 13. Tuition Discounts and Perks If one spouse works full-time for a college or a university, their spouse can enjoy getting the family discount on tuition if they choose to get their degree. This can help you save thousands of dollars if you're trying to complete their higher education. And of course, if you have kids together, they can get a free college degree and will be far less burdened by student loan debt. 14. Shared Debt one of the financial aspects of marriage is that both spouses have to share their debt once they're married. Depending on the individual's situation, this can be a good thing and a bad thing. Whatever debt was acquired before the marriage took place is the sole responsibility of the individual person. So, if one spouse is debt-free and the other has $100,000 in student loan debt, for example, the debt-free spouse is not responsible for paying on the pre-existing debt. This is great news for the spouse who has less debt. However, many couples choose to help each other out with their debts because they see their finances as being a joint effort. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and found value in it. Let us know down in the comments below whether you're reaping the benefits of marriage or not. Also, if there's a topic you'd like us to make a video on, let us know down in the comments as well. We love helping you guys out in any way we can. 
If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. With all that said, you guys, have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one.